Hi guys, I'm so happy to be able to start making videos again. I have a laptop. Um, I had help with the fam a couple of family members that helped me to get a brand new laptop a couple months back, and I didn't have a chance to make um, videos at the time. I didn't have the time to do it. And fortunately, that laptop was stolen about a month ago. Um, I just recently got another one uh, just to get me by um, so I can uh, get something a little more that can do some video editing and so forth. But in the meantime, I'm going to make do with what I have. And I just want to say I'm so excited to be back doing this. Um, I'm, I miss making videos. And I think the thing I miss the most about it is the response, the feedback that I would get. Not the negative feedback, but the positive feedback where I look every now and then I'll, I'll go back and look at some of the old uh, videos that I made. And um, I'll read some of the old comments where people said that I was encouraging them and uh, making a difference in their lives and I feel I think since I stopped doing this and just with everything that's been happening over the last few years if you've been following me for a while I think I had the most fulfillment when I knew that I was contributing to someone else's life um, and I've been experiencing a lot, of, a lot of frustration a lot of despondency a lot of um, a lot of feelings and emotions that I know I shouldn't be feeling and that if I were doing the will of God, I think I would feel more at peace and more um, satisfied in my day-to-day -day walk um, and you know what I what I know I've been called and sent here to do. Um, my son, as you if you've been following, if you're new, um, thank you for staying with me first of all this long <laughs> with no content, um, just old content. But I my son is a cancer survivor and. Some of you, um, I've reached out and we're friends on Facebook now, um, so you've been able to follow recent events, whatever I do post. I don't always post as much as I used to, but, um, but yeah, my son is a cancer survivor, survived against all odds, um, survived a brain, it's called a cavernoma, it's like a tumor, and it was a very deadly spot, but that's completely gone now, no medication, no intervention, just prayer. Um, and I'm going to make a video about that. You know, I thought like his story had been told and I told everybody that I know, like and people that have been following us on Facebook, but there's still people out there that need to hear his story. And when you go through something like that, and I'm kind of emotional tonight, so I might start crying, but I just felt compelled to do this, this video. And I don't know which way this is going to go. I just was felt this unction to hit record and let the Lord have his way. I just got through pouring out saying, Lord, whatever you want for my life, because I'm in the valley of decision right now where um, I'm seeking God about a number of things. My life is kind of up in the air, and like I said, I've been very despondent, and um, been very despondent and not like having a sense of direction. I thought I knew where I was going. I thought I knew God's plan. I still feel like I know his plan, but I don't know how it's going to happen, how I'm going to get there. And I think that's what's scary. And I think when you take your, I don't think I know, when you take your eyes off of the Lord, that's when you start to sink. It's just like the story of the waves of Peter walking on the water and looking at the waves. And that's what I've done. And I know that I've done that. And it's kind of scary trying to find your way back. But the key is to not stay in that place. The key is to find your way back. So I forgot where I was headed when I first started just a few minutes ago. I was going somewhere with my thoughts, but I just got this thought. Um, the Lord reminded me that I wanted to do a series on a life rebuilt. Like we see lives when of people that have it all together, but rarely do we see lives that are in shambles and people that are in the process of rebuilding those lives and putting them back you know, together or allowing God to put them back together. So I was thinking of being vulnerable enough to um, create a series where you see a life that has gone gone off track, you know, gone off the beaten path, feeling like I'm at the end, like life is over and it's not going to get better. I'm stuck. It's never going to get better because I've been in this season for so long. Um, but then seeing God, seeing that life yield, yield it to Christ, to God, and then seeing him reach down and step in and take over and create a new life, um, life, a life that I never imagined, and a life that I never envisioned. So 
I feel like I'm on the precipice of that, and maybe that's why I'm starting the series now. If I'm supposed to start the series, stay tuned, we'll see. Um, I know there are many plans in a man's heart, but only the Lord's plans really truly prevail, and that's what I want. I'm tired of trying to do things my way and make things happen if I don't see the Lord doing it fast enough. I want to wait on Him, and I want to be who He made me to be. And I don't know if anything I'm saying, I feel like I'm all over the place, but if anything I'm saying is resonating with you, I hope that it is. I just want to be a vessel. I know a long time ago, um, when I was 17 years old, uh, I know a woman doesn't tell her age, but I'm not ashamed. I'm 44, and I'm thankful that I've lived this long because I almost lost my life a few years ago. I have a testimony about that on here. You guys can look that up. But anyway, um, I asked the Lord when I was 17 um, to allow me to take as many souls with me to heaven as I could. Um, and I didn't know how that would happen or what it would look like, but I know that he's given me testimony after testimony. He's given me books that I've written. and um, So I don't know if that's how it's going to happen or what, if there's something yet more that he's going to do. But if I give up now, I won't see those things. I won't see the things that he's promised for me. I just thank you, Lord. He brought back a dream that I was going to share with you. And I don't want this to be too long, so I'm going to cut it off after I share the dream, I hope. But um, this is fun. I'm enjoying this. I feel like I'm back in my zone again. I'm back in my element. But um, I had this dream that uh, I was driving in this car. You know, I might make this a part two. I think I'm going to cut it off and make it, make this a two-parter. So I'm going to cut it off here. And I'm going to come back and make part two. And so stay tuned. Watch part two. Because this is a powerful dream. You don't want to miss the message in this. Um, because he's still giving me revelation. And I had this dream over 20 years ago. Over 22 years ago. I didn't realize it was that long ago. But I can gauge it based on when my father was alive. And he's been gone for 22 years. So, um, Alright, so stay tuned for part 2. I'll be back. <laughs>